Okay, so previously we did this case study in which we had water cleaning the gas with acetone. The water absorbs acetone and goes through here, and the gas goes mostly water and air. We analyze essentially column internals. We work with the sieve trays. So now, instead of changing the type of tray, what I'm going to be doing is changing the type of spacing or the amount of spacing. Okay, so let's say we wanted to make the spacing much, much smaller. So as you can see, the more I, the more spacing I have, the diameter drops. Why? Because these are fixed calculations based on the conditions stated here. Let's click it. So when you go to the same parameters, we have between 75 and 80 percent. So whenever we fix that and we change this, so whenever we change the tray spacing for a spacing of 0.5 meters per tray, you're going and having 80% of flooding, you're going to be fixing the diameter. So I could in theory change it directly, but that will not ensure me the 80% flooding. Okay, so this is awesome because I can simply change the tray spacing and the diameter will be recalculated. So let's see how it goes for pressure drops. Let's see what happens when I have a very small spacing. So when I have a very small spacing, I have a very large diameter. Let's see what will be the, the final statement. So we have a very small pressure drop because the diameter is too large. So that's not a problem. Let's see if we change this to maybe 0.7 meters, 70 centimeters. It's calculated. You see how the diameter is decreasing whenever I increase the tray space. So now it's 0.5. Let's run and check results. And let's go and check the pressure drop. So as you can see, the pressure drop is much, much smaller. So you can keep playing. Of course, this is not likely to occur, but let's, let's go for something in between 0.5. And see the pressure drop. 0.15, which is a normal pressure drop for the size of this column, for 10 meter column, sorry, for 7.5 meter column, it's a relatively okay pressure drop. Once again, the pressure approach ensures almost 